ATV trail use. The land is described as South End, lots near Bath Line, tax map R3, lots 3A, 3B, 8, 9, and 10, and Kings Highway, North End, lot 9, from Power Lines, tax map R1, lot 9. So moved. And we have the landowner, um, so it's us. Second, all in favor. And there's two forms to sign. Right where it says landowner, if you can, if all three of you can squeeze in your signatures, that would be ideal. So the power lines, the landowner, who might that be? That's not CMP. No, it's along the power lines. Right. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's the property, property abutting the yeah. power lines. Yes. Okay. So it's not on the power lines? No. Okay. I okay. signed the right spot in the town. We can just get to fit all three in there. Okay. I'd like to use claim all this place. Mm -hmm. I've had bad experience with them. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Steve, you like this one? Item 7, Committee Appointments, Appointments to the Appeal Board. Richard Davis, term expires June 30th, 2024. David Hennessy, term expires June 30th, 2024. Kathleen Perry, term expires June 30th, 2024. Move approval of those committee appointments. Second. All in favor? Sit. Carly, is this the appeals board that we didn't have enough people for? It is. Check it. Congratulations, David. Oh, I love it. <laughs> David, I have your, your oath ready for you to sign. <laughs> Fortunately, this does not meet very often. No, the oh, last time they met was there. in 2017. <laughs> not last year. They had a meeting this year. Once every five years. And we'll do it. Because we have enough people. Do we have a signature page? Yes. Yeah. Well, we're signing away your um, report, town administrator's report. Um, I'm going to let David join in on my town administrator's report with an update on budget advisory committee endeavors. Uh, we approved most all the budgets. I think most of that was had to try to keep their costs down. Uh, the school, their final adopted budget last night is up 0.47 percent. The actual local con contribution is 0.84 because we lost some state subsidy uh, for special education. The dollar amount is up. It's 28 thousand dollars. I want 29 thousand dollars. This is less than their. What do they take off from their initial budget? There were some uh, positions and some other small funding to add up that difference. Um, and this is a school budget that was basically zero for the last two, two years. So they did very well. Uh, the fire department, we voted to recommend part-time help on Saturday and Sundays when the staff, the station will be staffed on Saturday and Sunday, like eight hours each day. It's going to cost a little over fourteen thousand uh, dollars. The chief is very much in favor of it, so we're going to try it for a year and see how it works out. Um, there's also a long list of items we recommended for the ARP money, the federal money. The bigger one being uh, these fourteen air packs for one hundred twenty-one thousand dollars. And tanks. Well, it's, it's air pack. It's a unit. Two tanks, regulator. Mass, it's all one unit. Uh, he plans on moving the new ones in the new truck to other vehicles, you know, give them a few spare bottles, a few spare units. And I think it's a perfect use of the art money, like a capital improvement program, because he has several tanks that will outdate in the next couple of years, and they're only going to cost more. So that was the biggest item. We also recommended up to $10,000 for 16 new windows at the town office. Those are original windows, and we thought that was a good use of the art money. And around $5,000, we have uh, insulated rolling doors for both these windows. 
So we'll no longer hear the water? Yeah. You might, but be a little less. As this building is being used more and more for meetings. The other end is you $18,000 for an electronic sign out front that can be regulated and uh, controlled with the town office to put up notices for the town. And then we get $18,000 for heat pumps for the town office. It may not save a lot of heat, uh, electricity, or oil in the wintertime, dead of winter, but it should save a lot of energy spring and fall. Uh, as well as summertime with AC. Uh, that will be a lot more efficient for the building with these units. And we'll be placing three units in the windows every year, which is going to be much, this is a much quieter unit and a lot less electricity used for the AC. Not in those new windows. The windows, no window air units going in. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that might wake the staff up once in a while in the wintertime. <laughs> Uh, we did cut $150,000 in recommended for the roads, as Steve had told us in a meeting that uh, he could do a bull rock road, he thought, with money left over in the current year. This will still leave him about a $350,000 increase in road budget from last year, and we thought that was a sufficient budget. It's $800,000 total or something like that. Uh, so we did cut the 150 from that, 150,000 from that budget. And he plans on the Bullrock Road with leftover money for this current budget. That has not been spent. It's not left over. He got the June 30th to spend it. And that's about it. Well, and any money that's in his account stays in his account. Correct. So, it's, it, so it's not, it's not that it's not rolling back in. He gets to whatever he didn't spend, we pay. But it's still, on, we're still on that current. Yeah, no, 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 but I'm just, even, but if, if, you know, if it turns out that we can't spend order. that, it's still there. It's still there. Yep. To finish it, if we can't complete it by June 30th, we can complete it July 1st. Mm -hmm. And it's still okay. Yeah. Correct. That's the one account that that does Anything? Does the board want to make recommendations on the budget tonight? Or do you want to take that up at the next meeting? I think we should take it. I'll give you the updated budgets. I think we're ready to. Um, this is really this is a take action tonight. Like the advisory. Yeah, I'm going to be sending the warrant to Sally early next week. So it would be helpful to have the recommendations in place if you're ready. Um, yeah, one of the things that the budget committee has done, um, and I want to thank all of them, is um, they did keep us in the loop through the process, so we, we're pretty familiar with this budget. Um, so I would like to make a motion that we accept the budget that the um, committee has put together as presented. Second. And Christine, I think we shared at the last budget meeting. Um, we thought we were going to keep the right the same. Yes. So I'm very confident about we that. We should not be increasing taxes. Mm -hmm. And you should be very proud of yourself because what I'm seeing from several towns is all increases in their no rates. So great job. Thank you. Well, no, it's not us, it's the departments, but the school, mm -hmm. fire department, Absolutely. town halls, they, they all work hard to keep it down. That's true. Yep, great job. And they keep it down before we even look at it. Mm -hmm. On the town side, if you take everything into account, and I added a little addendum to show you, um, when you remove the ARPA That's appropriation awesome. and the increase in the school budget, and the Birch Point stabilization, which is a one-time special project. The increase on the town side is only $5,900. So I didn't realize that until I really went back and ran the numbers. I think that's pretty good. And we still have some additional ARPA coming in. Yes, we do. And we have the huge increase in the roads, which is phenomenal. I mean, yeah, that's and I think the fact is, as Stevie told us tonight, he plans on 
dedicate more of his time and be freed up more to do road work this year to see a lot of projects done. That's a lot of money to be able to, to keep the mill rate. It is. I think it's, you know, it's... It's a lot of money to spend. <laughs> but it, 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 it's, 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 I think it's important, you know, well, I, I feel like we're out of COVID. I think people are still recovering financially from that. And I think it's important for our community to feel that we are supporting them financially in, in making good decisions. In just like from the town. No, I'm just saying I don't think they were out of COVID after all. Yeah. It was about China. <laughs> well, no, we're not, we're not where we were. No, we're not, it's, uh, we're, we're, just a, a follow-up, uh, Christine. We are trying to do the parking lot out back at the town office this year's budget. Uh, yeah, we don't have a figure for that yet. So it just hasn't gotten to it. For the drainage problem. Right. But if we can take care of that, then I would really like to. If we jump can, off. can we turn that into a municipal skating rink? <laughs> <laughs> No, there's liability. Yeah. I think we have to. Sorry, I disapprove. Wayne Farm. That's a huge liability for the town. The ice is already there. So. <laughs> there you go. And I do have one more request. Um, I would really like to get tablets for the select board and get your email addresses set up. Yes, I agree with that. Um, I we tablet. will exceed our current technology budget if we do that this year. Um, I would like permission to take it from contingency if necessary. The total cost is about $2,700. I don't want a tablet. That's fine for me. No. Okay. That's not the point. That's not yeah, the that's point. Not. I, I, it's I'm really the only something one to pass on. I, you can get one. I don't think it's one I'm the only one that's actually using our town email address on my phone. It doesn't matter. Not. Um, yeah, going about it the right way, instead of using a Gmail account, they should be, they should be, um, That's why I'm bringing it up. Let's take be, care of it. They should be purchased because the, um, the select board is not a permanent position for any of us. And, um, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter if we set the policy. The phone is, um, not public pro pro property, and if we have the select board having um, public property, that means that the record stays with the town. So the record stays with the town with your current email address. I'm the only one that's using the required email address from the state. There's other information that comes through uh, that belongs to the town that's other than the email. I, I don't receive any of that. I, it's all, I, I actually use the web portal that we have. Do we is this be part of policies and procedures? Um, we can create a policy for that. For what? For how it's so used. Like for the tablets. Right. Okay. I think the only way we're ever going to get to where we want to be is having policies and procedures and following them and everything we do. Um, yep. That puts everybody on the same page. Yep. One oh. and it, it <laughs> alleviates this communication. Well, and I, I think you know, I think it's important because after my last day as a selectman, the town still has to maintain, maintain my records of email mm -hmm. for three years. Yes. And so anyone who's used their personal email address, there's no way for the town to do any of that. And so I, I don't necessarily think I need a tablet to do that. I've been following it on my own personal computer. You, I don't. I hear you, but I think we need a policy and procedure how West Bath wants to conduct their correspondence. If I can get permission to take it from contingency, we can get it started. So moved. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it. Second, um. I mean, it, it needs to be done. But people, but no one's going to use a third or fifth tablet, right? Nobody's going to use that. <laughs> Maybe you ladies will, but typically, no, nobody else. I travel to use work. a tablet just for one thing. I want to use the tablet. Here is why I would like you all to have tablets because we're using a lot of paper. 
for the select board packets. Mm -hmm. I want the select board to have a tablet at the meetings and flip through. I write notes on every single page that comes through. That's fine. <laughs> if, if, you, if you need to print tablet. it out, you need to print it out. Or and you can are, use one sheet for notes. And those records should go, with, if you're writing on those, those should go into the town records. The purchasing file that you moved to May, that's really critical. It doesn't matter. It's part, it's part of the public record if you make a note. So you can put yours there too then. Maybe you can write a paper policy about tablets. Is there a motion on the floor? There's a motion on the floor. I would like to move this forward. I think it's important. All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. I will come up with a policy. It'll take some time to get your tablets in. Well, I, the thing is, I travel for work. I'm not going to bring a town tablet to answer email when I'm in No, Texas. and I'm not talking about email. I'm talking about Julie not sighing and complaining when I go through reams and reams of paper for a select board packet. And if you have to Zoom from a remote mm -hmm. location, you can do that on your tablet. Yep, there's other benefits. I'm not saying I'm that you can't bring it on your phone. just the to to the administrator's report. Um, I just want to bring your attention to the letters of support that have been asked of us in the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is Kennebec Estuary Land Trust. Um, they are seeking a land for Maine's future grant to purchase 179 acres of Bittner property. Wow, that's a lot. And they're gonna, their plan is to extend the trail system and conserve the property for traditional recreational uses. Um, so we submitted a letter of support for that project. Oh, and I can see the map. The bitter, where is that property? It's um, so Austin Road up by the Austin Road, Road Barry's okay. Mount. The uh, Red Air Tower radio oh, okay. station. Thank you. We wow, did a letter of support for uh, the city of Bath. They would like to build a new fire station on the former Morris High School property. Hmm. So they are seeking congressionally directed funds for that project. And then finally, um, the New England Environmental Finance Center, they're also seeking um, congressional funds for to provide technical assistance to the smaller towns who don't have adequate resources for um, climate impact and clean energy projects. for these letters of support, or have they already done No, so? they're already submitted. Anything under future agenda items? <laughs> um, next week, Marty Baker of GEI Consultants will be here with his uh, review of Sabino Landing. Oh. So he'll give us his findings next week. Are you in a meeting next week? Uh, no, I'm sorry, not next okay. week. The next week is on the 21st. Is that the joint? Sorry. The joint top show this group, West Bath? Yes. Grant, yep. Okay, Perry. Um, first comment is uh, of these road projects that were left over from last year, do you think any of them can be rolled into a more efficient bidding process with this year's? I know we're way out of the no, way. No, I, no, the, the main one is, is the bull rock road. Uh -huh. And that's kind of by itself down yeah. there. Okay. I don't know if that's too practical. And that's with the energy estimate that it, estimated that at $200,000. And Steve's hoping he can get it done for less. Yeah, the engineer is doing the bid package for that project. Yeah, okay. that's a process. So that being 200000 his increase of Three something. Uh, so okay, let me back up. 
the leftover money from last year, how much was that? It's not left over, it's still the current budget. Well, it's, it's dedicated to projects. About 190, yeah. Okay. So are, are any of those projects in that $190,000 quantity, can they be collectively added to a project close to them? I mean, I, I just hate to see us not overlook what we need to do. There's I'm not saying this correct. So I, I yeah. think um, your committee will come up with recommendations for that. I don't I don't know if you can package Bull Rock with anything. It's it's a substantial project. Yeah, I, I realize that's two hundred and ninety thousand is being two hundred thousand. What are we packaging? No, I'm just wondering if a lot of these small jobs that weren't done last year can be added to jobs that are done this year. I mean, hypothetically, because, you know, also near the Bull Rock, I mean, you're going to package something, perhaps, I know we're looking at finishing the paving of okay. Foster's Point. So I suggest that but that's your okay. committee reach out to the road committee, okay. yeah. and it shouldn't be a selectman's discussion, it should be okay. between the road committee, Okay, um, my other comment is the Bittner property. Um, how is much it, I'm is sorry, that? Is the what? The Bittner property, the 179 acres. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much does that lower our tax base because it's being purchased by a nonprofit? Possibly being purchased. They are applying for a grant, so we haven't determined the amount yet. And I realize we have no control over somebody selling that property right. to a nonprofit. It's just Mm -hmm. I just remember what's happened to the state of Maine. Big parcels have been rolled into never paying any taxes. And it puts a higher burden on us. We don't know what they're paying for taxes currently. We do. We just don't look it up. Yeah, yeah I didn't look it up. Okay. But there's really nothing we can do about that. Either, is it? Yeah. Okay. No, well, you could have not issued a letter of support. <laughs> Well, I, I guess that was yeah my point. Yeah. Was, if we don't support that, but I guess it's it would be like somebody telling me, nope, you can't sell your property. That's the only bit I got. But so, when you think like, about the town of West Bend, and we talk about no rec committee, no this, no that. What a great piece of they're talking about hiking trails, and what a piece of property to. I mean, sometimes losing a little bit of money offset. I mean, we're gonna have. Wing Farm, hopefully to get some of that revenue yeah. back in, and possibly this solar project. Um, so I think we do have good things going. I think it would be nice if we could have a center where we could say this is a center of West Bend. This is I don't know yeah. Hamilton Sanctuary. We used to use as kids like crazy. I don't even think that gets used anymore. Oh, Hamilton. Yeah. 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 Down there, nobody used down there. Yeah. There's a lot of clamors that use it, yeah. you know, for parking and they, they access to the back hole. Yeah. 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 Our, our visitors, visitors see walk. It's too hard right now. Our visitors all go to it. A lot of people go to it, actually. Yeah. 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 During COVID, there was a lot of complaints that the parking lot, you couldn't get anywhere near it, so maybe people think yeah, it's, it's too crowded. crowded. I don't think it's the worst things in this town. Rather you, than you stop by there if you drop off something to talk with you. No, the only the only last comment is um, um, give us some time. You know, I mean, scheduling is horrible. I mean, my schedule changed twice today. You know, and then I forgot. It's like, oh, I got to be here at five thirty. When Probably you say us, are you talking today. about the road committee? Yeah, the road committee. Okay. You know, we just we need some more time well, to I'm hopefully give you a direction into which. Well, I feel really responsible for the road committee. This was. My idea, I pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. I feel like there's a lot of push and pull. And what it is, is really for the road committee and commissioner to work together. I feel like there's so many outside interests and pressures getting in the middle of this. And I really want to see, my whole thing was that you guys would really work together, get this town marked, have a 5, 10, 15, 20 year plan. And I just feel like sometimes this thing's getting in the way. Yeah. Well, speaking from my perspective and a couple other members, 
give us a direction. I don't really care. I, it's not, no. not that I don't care. It's that's we have a direction. We're getting there. You know, that's just the bottom line. Well, even line. helping us document on the DOT software the town roads, how old the culvert is, how old. The, there's so many things that's going to be beneficial that comes out of this process for the town, and then ultimately creating the schedule that we talk about for. Prepare, you know, preparing for road work down the road allows us to budget better for it and, and have it documented on, on the warrant for it. So I think it's a good thing. Um, you, when you mentioned culvert, that um, when we inspected today, we did find one of the culverts is humped in the middle really bad. I could physically see where they joined the two culverts together. And I'm hoping it settles back down, but the more that works like that, it could create a another issue right there. So if I could just be noted that we we and saw this. Again, I'm going to push back and yeah. talk to the road Okay. All right. So, <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah, we got two minutes to spare. So. No, we don't have, have a time limit. Yeah, He's already been here for really I see you guys working. I see this. I really do see you guys working really well together, and I really do see this plan coming out, and I do see us being on target to spend less money and get more done. Absolutely. Yeah, that's my whole function. That's my whole goal is to. It's you're spending my money. You know, sure. I mean, it, it really does come out of my pocket. You know, a dollar here, a dollar there. You know. Madeline said it's all her money. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, yeah. Anything else from anyone? I move that we adjourn. Thank you all for being patient. This was a long meeting. Thank you. I move that we adjourn. Second. All in favor. Oh, yes. Oh.